Four years ago, Australia began sending refugees who tried to get to its shores to remote island prisons in Papua New Guinea and Nauru instead. On Tuesday, the Manus Island prison will close, but refugees held there are demanding that they be allowed to stay, saying forced eviction into the Papua New Guinean community is dangerous. Even the local community are threatening us every day that if we move out of this place, they will kill us. And now Australia is trying to walk away from us. Australia's policy did deter people from trying to reach its shores by boat. But its legacy was more than 2,000 people left in limbo. Human rights groups condemned conditions in the prisons and demanded their closure. After a Papua New Guinean court said detaining refugees was illegal, Australia agreed to close the Manus Island prison and pay refugees compensation. But the refugees don't want to leave. They say few preparations have been made for their lives outside. After locals broke in and attacked them in 2014, one was killed, they're fearful of worse violence when they're not protected by guards. I spoke to 40 refugees and asylum seekers and nearly everyone described how they had been beaten, stabbed or assaulted on Manus Island. They are terrified about moving to the main town of Lorengau. Australia's government says those it calls genuine refugees should start new lives in Papua New Guinea. Some may later be transferred to the United States under a deal between Australia and the Obama administration. Those it considers not genuine refugees must return to their countries of origin. This is a crazy situation. Everybody's been screaming about wanting to get out of the place. Well, we say that we're going to close it and move them into a different facility. Uh, and require those that, uh, that aren't refugees to go back to their country of origin, uh, and now they won't leave. Australia's government says the prison closure is a matter for Papua New Guinea, but on Sunday, PNG's immigration minister released a statement. It says the refugees remain the responsibility of Australia and that PNG is concerned about human rights issues, particularly the removal of health services once the prison is closed. One Australian has gone to extreme lengths to highlight what she calls her government's lack of compassion. For a month, she's been on a hunger strike. I'm not doing this because it's fun and I'm not wanting to harm my, myself. But I don't understand what has happened to us. That we got to a place where, where we don't care anymore. Refugees on Manus Island fear violence on Tuesday. Their advocates say the men on Manus and families held on Nauru should be transferred to Australia or another country able to resettle refugees safely. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.